here I have a rectangular prism and I have another rectangular prism here. Let's just make sure that they are equivalent. They are. Now, I want to measure the volume of this prism. So I'm wondering if these can help me. So you can see, you know, what I've got here is I've just got five more prisms to work with, but this one might help me. I'm going to pull out. Remember, we used this cube as our unit of measure. And it fits right here. And it has some height also. So I can see that actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times 5, that, that there are 50 unit cubes in this prism here. So there's 50 here. And that means this is another 50. And this is another 50, so we're at 150, another 50, so 200, 250. So this prism contains 250 unit cubes. Wow. Now, that seems kind of complicated, though, to, like, cut something into, you know, into other prisms to do that measurement every time. There's another way we can consider this. We know when we find the area of something, we multiply its base times its height if it's a rectangle like this. So let's measure along our base with our unit cubes. So there's our base in the unit cubes. That's an important thing to consider. And let's also measure along the height of our base here. And then when we're looking at the solid, not only did we have that area of that bottom prism, the vol you know, the volume of cubes there, but we also built up. So let's build up here as well. Now, if we wanted, we could fill the rest of this space in with unit cubes to find the volume of this rectangular prism. But do we need to do that? We know that if we had this 10 units times 5 units down here at the bottom, we got 50 unit cubes, remember? And then we just layer more on. But actually, this base times the height times the height of the prism, that's all we need to determine the volume. We could do this 10 units here times the 5 units, which is 50 units squared, times the 5 more units up here, which would give us 250 units cubed. So those three important dimensions help us when we are finding the volume of a rectangular prism. Maybe you'd like to find the volume of other rectangular prisms.